After a diver went out of his way to save a humpback whale's life, he was astonished to witness the majestic creature express its gratitude in the most remarkable way. During the night, a solitary humpback was swimming close to the shoreline of an American city. At first, the creature was gliding along, peacefully. However, the darkness meant that it couldn't see the obstacles in the water. Suddenly, the whale had gotten caught up in some rope. It started to struggle. The large animal twisted and turned, hoping to break free from the weight, but its actions were futile. Hours would go by, and the whale would remain in that spot, waiting for someone to save it. When a group of people went out to sea, they didn't expect that they'd soon return with one of them becoming a hero. Jack Marlin was an experienced diver who had recently joined the team for one of their excursions. Early in the morning, the volunteers had been notified of the strange activity that took place overnight. Although the message wasn't clear, they were briefly told that an animal was involved. Both curious and worried, the team took one of their fastest boats and headed into the water. The crew drove their boat towards the specified location. They were approximately seven miles away from the coast of San Francisco when they saw something hiding among the waves. It was a whale. It bobbed its head up and down, its eye directed towards the group. The whale was observing them, possibly wondering if the people meant any harm. It turned out that the humpback was tangled in a dozen traps. The day before, crab traps had been set up. Although they were previously empty, they had filled up overnight. In total, they weighed around 3,000 pounds, 1,360 kilograms. The weight was like an anchor, rooting the whale to that spot. Unlike fish, whales cannot breathe underwater. As mammals, they need to regularly swim upwards for oxygen. Even though this humpback continued to go up for air, it was clear that its strength was waning. After hours and hours, the creature was clearly fatigued. It was a miracle that it had managed to stay alive after all that time. As the crew watched the whale skimming the surface, alarm bells rang in Jack's head. Not long ago, he was on a boat in a different location when he witnessed something deeply traumatizing, a sight that would haunt him forever. A poor blue whale shark had fallen victim to multiple shark attacks. Now, once again, Jack found himself in shark-infested waters. It was peak season and predators prowled the coastlines in search of vulnerable prey. This whale was not only stranded and unable to defend itself, but also grievously wounded, with oil leaking into the water. The slick created a dark, shimmering trail that stretched for over a mile, a fatal beacon for the great white sharks lurking nearby. The oil slick probably extended for more than a mile, creating an irresistible scent for the great white sharks in the area, Jack explained grimly. With the tension in the air and danger all around, he knew it was only a matter of time before the predators would target the trapped whale. Jack had to do something to help the whale, and there wasn't much time left. There was only one thing he could do. Jump into the water and free the whale from the traps. As quickly as possible, Jack slipped on his diving gear. He spoke his thoughts while getting ready, and the other divers listened attentively. They trusted the man. He was experienced, but also noble. They admired the way he carried himself, even while under a lot of mental pressure. As Jack looked down into the blue water, he was fully aware of the possibility that a shark was close. It wasn't so much where I was afraid, but it was definitely on my mind that I could encounter something bigger than me out there," said Jack. Someone else in Jack's shoes may have frozen or fled at the thought of a large carnivore swimming around them. However, Jack's bravery won, and rather than focusing on the potential dangers of his situation, he wanted to look on the bright side of the whale being free once again. Just before Jack jumped in, he pulled one of the crew members close to him and warned him about the sharks. Jack knew how to deal with the threat, but wasn't sure if the others were informed. So he told them to keep watch and not to lose track if a great white shark suddenly appears. According to Jack, maintaining eye contact with the terrifying creatures will protect you, because the shark will then acknowledge you as being a non-food source. After quickly scanning the watery area surrounding the boat, Jack turned his gaze towards the whale. So far, there seemed to be no shark in sight. With steady hands, Jack put his mask on. One second, he was standing on the boat beside everyone else. In the next, he was in the water. A few minutes later, all the other divers had joined him. Jack swam towards the whale, his fellow divers following close behind. As he approached, he noticed that the animal's head was fully above the surface. It was staring straight at him. Although it was in desperate need of help, it seemed distrustful of the human drawing closer to it. There was a sad and tired look in the creature's eyes, one that any intelligent animal would be able to recognize. 
Jack empathized with the creature. The whale was smart enough to understand the danger of its situation and probably saw the people as potential threats. In order to soothe the humpback, the diver extended one of his hands and tried speaking to it. While Jack rubbed the side of the whale's face, he said in a calm tone, I'm here to help you. I'm not going to hurt you. The rope was biting into the whale's skin. No wonder the whale was unable to free itself. The rope had dug in so deep, it created burns and cuts. When the whale first got caught up in one of the traps, it thrashed around in an attempt to shake the ropes off. But this ended up twisting the rope, burying it deeper into its body. After an entire night of struggling, the humpback had become entangled in even more traps. The ropes were pulled so tightly that it was clear the whale was under extreme stress. The crab traps stretched over a mile long, ensnaring the giant in a web of nylon and steel. Driven by deep sympathy for the creature, Jack plunged his knife into the tangled ropes, slicing through layer after layer. With each strand he cut, the whale moved one step closer to freedom. The other divers did their best to assist, working carefully to avoid causing further injury to the whale. The water around them was tense and murky, occasionally stirred by the fluke of the trapped giant. Every now and then, Jack spun around to check for nearby sharks, their sleek shapes a potential threat in the dim depths. He reminded the divers to stay alert, and once satisfied with their caution, he returned to his task, the shark blade hacking away at the stubborn ropes. As each coil fell away, the whale's movement became freer, inching ever closer to liberation. He encouraged the other divers to keep up the good work. Eventually, the whale was freed. When the final cord released the whale from the weight, the whale dived back down. The divers cheered and congratulated each other. They were able to carry out their plan with no problems. The team was proud of Jack. They spoke of how he would soon gain popularity over the events. It's not every day that a diver saves a whale. Even so, Jack's heroic act wasn't the most surprising thing to happen on that day. Rather, the whale's reaction was unlike anything those people had seen before. Just watch how it thanked the man for his help. Almost immediately after the whale was freed, it returned to where the humans had rescued it. In particular, it returned to Jack. Along with the rest of his crew, Jack watched the whale come back up to the surface. But while other people had gotten back onto the boat and were therefore observing the humpback from a distance, Jack was still in the water. He was looking down in the depths as the great creature swam upwards, heading straight towards him. The experience filled him with awe. Once the whale finally reached the top of the water, it was it began to nudge Jack lightly. It was giving its playful thanks by swimming around the amused diver, like how a pet would behave around its owner. For several minutes, the enormous whale gracefully swam in a figure-eight pattern around Jack, its powerful tail gently breaking the surface of the water. The team watched in awe, their eyes wide with amazement. It was as if a wild whale was joyfully engaging with a human, treating Jack like a longtime friend. The surreal nature of the encounter imprinted itself deeply into Jack memory, a scene so vivid he could recall the whale's joyful expressions with a mere blink. What do you think of Jack's act of bravery? Share your insights and reactions in the comment section below. If this story moved you and you found it inspiring, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more remarkable tales like this. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, take care.